in my dreams last night I was standing She was an amazing person. She just lit up people's lives. She was on track for a first class honours degree in molecular medicine. She was a student mentor. She was also an athlete. She was a cheerleader and she was in training. She was only four years older than me, so we sort of grew up together. And uh, she, she was brilliant. She was, she was bubbly, fun. Um, we had some crazy arguments, but it, it was all good. We were cheerleaders together. We were side bases and Hess and I were nicknamed Team Blonde because we were obviously blonde and very ditzy and very silly. She makes me laugh. She always cheers me up. She winds me up like I can't even describe, but um, I really and truly love her. There was no shelter. She'd been out for an awards night, so the cheerleaders had got an award and they'd had a few glasses of alcohol during the dinner. Mm -hmm. And then she was meant to be going to meet her brother for drinks, but instead she went off with an old boyfriend. Hester went home from that evening and took what was then a legal high called GBL. He gave her supposedly half a dose of GBL. Which was originally a date rape drug. She fell asleep, fell into a coma and never woke up. And I never saw my best friend again. It was such a shock, not just to me, but to all her friends, because n none of her friends had ever heard of GBL at the time. A lot of the legal highs are actually not legal at all. <laughs> They're a cocktail of Class B drugs and other chemicals that were never meant for human consumption. And so kids are being fooled into thinking that they're safe because they're legal, but actually they're not. And they are literally playing Russian roulette with their lives. GBL, GBL plus alcohol, alcohol equals death. There was a knock on the door. In fact, I had bare feet and I was singing to the radio, feeling like I didn't have a care in the world. And uh, two police officers on my doorstep. Um, you know, that's not good. <laughs> when they sat down in my lounge and mentioned Hester's name, I asked if she was alive and they said, I'm afraid not, she died this morning. It was horrible. It was horrible this horrible, empty feeling of sort of loss. I can't imagine something that could break my heart more than losing Hester. Hester would never have wanted us to have to go through this. It just never gets better. Something so stupid took her life away and took her away from me and her family and the whole world. Did I tell you I love